What's up, losers? Music-related copyright claims in Twitch. Are you getting your clips and VODs muted because you listen to copyrighted music? Well, have I got the solution for you. This won't help you for clips, but you will be able to re-upload your VODs to either YouTube or Twitch without the copyrighted music uh, being included inside of the recording. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to take advantage of the advanced audio properties inside of OBS that allow us to separate which tracks certain audio streams are going to be on. So if you don't have multiple audio output devices, you might need to buy a second one here. Uh, the, the way that this is going to work is here's the audio stream that most people would do. If you're just doing a local recording without multi-track, here's the audio stream that you would get. This is everything that's already on your Twitch stream, including the copyrighted music. But for example, in this picture, I have the microphone and just the game sound, which you can set here. For, for this picture, this would be audio track three, but for me, it's audio track five. It includes my alerts, my desktop audio, which is my game stuff, and my microphone. Chrome is what I use for all of my music, but this could easily be Spotify or Pandora, whatever you use, and make sure that that's not included in whatever track you're using. But because they're separated, you, if you only have desktop audio, you won't be able to actually separate these, right? So let's say that your computer actually only has one output. Well, then we're not able to decide which are going to go to uh, audio output one and audio output two. They're going to be combined no matter what. So in that case, you might need to buy a USB sound card for a second audio output. The, the reason why we're physically doing this as well as logically is because if you use something like a virtual audio cable, you're going to introduce quite a bit of lag into the audio stream. For me, it was just not, I could not find a suitable audio loopback cable that did not introduce a reasonable or that didn't introduce an unreasonable amount of latency that made it frustrating to use. So I would just recommend buying a USB sound card. But now that we have two outputs, we have the output that includes just the game stuff and an output that includes just the audio, uh, the copyrighted music and stuff. We still wanna be able to listen to those at the same time as the streamer. So because of that, we need a, a mixer that's going to combine those two analog signals back into one for us to listen to. So if you if you don't know how to do this, this part here, um, there's plenty of YouTube tutorials about how to set up a, a mixer with multiple audio tracks. This is more about the recording side of things. So for me, as I've shown, track five is the one that includes just the things that I want. So the way that you set this up, you go to settings, you need to do local recording. So I'd recommend toggling this in output, automatically record when streaming and then in output, switch to advanced, and then for recording, set up your recording path and select the audio tracks that you want. I have one, two, three, four, five, but the reason why I include these other ones, you don't need these. Two would just be my microphone. Let's say I wanted to increase the level of the microphone over the game sound or something inside of the recording. So if you're a pro streamer or something and you want to include multiple tracks for your editor to deal with, you can do something like that, but really you only need two. One is the audio track that's always going to the stream. Audio track one is always going to be used by OBS to send to Twitch or wherever you're live streaming. And then a secondary audio track that just includes things that we're going to keep inside of the VOD. So if you don't need to keep those other things separated, you could just have two, but uh, the important thing is that you have multi-track set up with matching to your advanced audio output properties here. So at the end of your stream, uh, it's not going to automatically upload this new remuxed version that doesn't include your copyrighted music. The way that you're going to have to do that is you're going to have to create a new video file out of the existing recording. So the, the piece of software that I wrote is this here. And what this is going to do is just select the video track and your selected audio track and mux them into one file. So this prevents you from having to open up that big, long, like three hour stream into Vegas or Premiere or whatever, mute those audio streams and then render it because that would take forever. 
we already have them separated so we can just copy the data that we want and leave the rest. So for me, inside of my stream recordings here, I have all of my outputs. Um, let's say that this one here is one that I wanted to um, remux down. Also, you can just click it at the end of your stream. It'll grab the latest from the uh, file that you set up as the as its input directory. It'll grab the latest file. You need to come in here and set up your input and output directories, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. Then once you have that set up, you can just double click this at the end of your stream and it'll remux that file for you into the output directory. Then you'd go to Twitch and upload it, or you can drag the file on top of it and it'll automatically start remuxing it. Uh, the program is pretty simple. You can go through all the code here. You don't have to download anything other than the uh, release here. And if you don't want to use this, um, still you have a multi-track video file that you can send off to your editor or something who can then uh, use that recording without any copyrighted music needing to be inside of your YouTube video or whatever. So once you have your Remux video, for me, uh, they're all in this YT folder, I would just go to YouTube. This is my VOD archive channel where at the end of my stream, I just go and upload and drag that file in here. But you could also do it on Twitch. Inside of Video Producer, upload, and upload the VOD here. And then after your stream, already on your Twitch channel, you have the uploaded VOD without any copyright issues, right? So for me, right, here we are. These are all expiring. They have copyright claims inside of them too. Uh, but no need to fear. I just do it on YouTube. But if you want to, you can do it on Twitch as well. Here's all my streams. They're never getting deleted. We can watch streams from uh, three months ago that include no music. So hopefully this is helpful. Maybe somebody can uh, save themselves a lot of headache with this project, but yeah, thanks.